In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the acceleration required to raise a mass. The question reads, a 16 kilogram monkey wishes to raise a 20 kilogram mass by climbing up a rope that passes over a pulley attached to a mass, as shown in the illustration. How much must the monkey accelerate up the rope to raise the mass? So let's take a look at what's been drawn. We have a monkey that's hanging on this side and a mass on the other side. And the two masses are connected via a cord along this pulley. To figure this out, we need to find out how much tension each of these two masses are exerting along this cord. So let's do that first. We'll start with the monkey. We have, remember that force is mass times acceleration. And in this case, the mass is 16. Make sure that mass is in kilograms. And the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. So by multiplying these two numbers out, we should end up with the amount of tension that the monkey is exerting on that cord. And it's 156.8, which I'll round to 157 for simplicity. So 157 newtons. Now we'll do the same thing for this mass. Again, using the same formula, force is equal to mass times acceleration. We have 20 times 9.8. Multiplying these two numbers out, we end up with 196. The next thing that I'll do is find the difference between these two tensions. Because if I find the difference between them, I can then find the extra acceleration that the monkey needs to exert in order for them to balance. So let's subtract 196 and 157. 196 minus 157 makes 39 newtons. So now I need to find out the added acceleration that the monkey needs to exert. Using again the same formula, where this time the force is 39, the monkey's weight is 16, and by solving for A, we get the added acceleration. To solve for A, we divide both sides by 16. So 39 divided by 16 makes 2.43, or simply 2.4 meters per second squared. By accelerating 2.4 meters per second squared, the two masses will be balanced. They will be at the same level. Any acceleration greater than 2.4 will make this mass go even further up in the direction towards the monkey. So at 2.4, the tensions are balanced, and anything more than 2.4 will take it out of balance and make it go in the favor of the monkey's direction. And so there you have it. That is how to solve acceleration problems involving two masses along a pulley.